Well, greetings viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk, and this is a video response to Kazum Fowler and our ongoing conversation about the subject of sexual harassment and objectification. And Kazum, I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get this installment out to you. My webcam keeps crashing my computer, and uh, hopefully, it seems to be behaving right now, so hopefully I'll be able to get through this without that happening. And Kazum, I'd like to ask you, as a courtesy, to please listen to the entire video before making a comment. In fact, I would consider it a courtesy on your part if you listened to the entire video first, thought about it for a couple of minutes, and then commented. Okay? Um, right. First of all, with respect, kids, you seem to be caught up on a couple of issues that I wanted to sort of pick you up on. You seem to think that when someone's making a comment about someone else's physicality, the intention of the person making the comment ought to be the deciding factor into how that comment is perceived. And frankly, kids, I think that is disingenuous on your part. Yeah, okay, I will relent. I will, I will, I will retract a little bit from my first video on this subject, thanks to comments from yourself and also Duraken, who made me think about this in a different way. And I will grant you that intention is definitely important. Um, but by no means should intention be the deciding factor in how something is perceived. Um, I admit openly that I'm just going to pluck these numbers directly out of my fucking brain, but um, I would say that when it comes to how a comment about physicality is likely to be perceived, 20% of that perception is going to be due to the intention behind the person making the comment. Another 20% might be the mood of the person receiving the comment. But I would guess that about 60% of how the comment is likely to be perceived is going to be due to context, environmental factors, you know, were there other witnesses? Are you in a social situation where such a comment might be likely to be expected? Or are you in a situation where it's unlikely to be expected and therefore more likely to be offensive, etc.? I would argue, Kiz, that you're downplaying context and you're doing so deliberately because you want to overstate the importance of intention. I think that's disingenuous. You have to concede that context is vital in how something is going to be perceived. Human communication, generally speaking, I mean, uh, you know, it's not all about the words we say, you know, facial expression, body language are the majority of human communication. Vocal intonation is also more important than the actual words that you say. So the words you say uh, don't necessarily uh, determine the intention as well. It's also your body language and, and your intonation as well. So it's very easy to see how uh, misunderstandings can take place. Even if you do consider the context and try to pick your moments carefully, it's still really easy to, to make a mistake and, and, uh, and, and make a boo-boo and offend someone or hurt their feelings. But anyway, neither here nor there. The bottom line is I would hope that you will concede that context is much more important than con intention. Okay? Um, I think that would be progress. Anyway, secondly, Judging from the things you've said to me in comments and the things I've seen you say to other people, you seem to think that as long as you're not making a derogatory comment about someone else's physicality, it is therefore by default a compliment. And that is asinine, man. I mean, surely you've heard of such a thing as passive aggression, right? Let me give you a couple of examples of passive aggression. If I've heard, I've actually heard women do this to other women. So, oh, I like what you're trying to do with that outfit. Phrase is a compliment, blatantly not a compliment. Or Kazoom, what if someone said to you, nice face rug, I love the way it hides your chin. Is that a compliment? They said it was nice, and they said they love the way it hides your chin. Is it a compliment? What if someone said to you, you're really nice, you don't act like an atheist. Compliment? Really? Not really. I've actually had black friends who've had white people say to them in all seriousness thinking they were giving them a compliment and they say, I don't think of you as black, I just think of you as a person. Really. If you can't see that that's not a compliment, then you are beyond help. There is such a thing as passive aggression. And I would argue that in the vast majority of social situations, saying something like nice tits or nice ass will be perceived as passive aggression. 
I will grant you, like I tried to a minute ago, that context matters, and there will be certain situations where it is okay to say such things. But you really have to be careful, and you really have to pick your moments, because the majority of social situations, that will be perceived as passive aggression. Now, if someone says to me, what's aggressive about it? Well, you know, if you're blatantly bringing attention to someone's sexual attributes, you are implying your intention to experience that part of them, your desire. You know, if you say to someone, nice tits, why should they care that you think their tits are nice? The only reason you sh they, they would presume that you care is because you want to experience them, right? Uh, why else would you say it? So, you know, I think passive aggression is something that you're completely ignoring in this entire conversation. And clearly, it's something that you at least ought to acknowledge if not necessarily agree with my point completely, you ought to acknowledge that it's possible. Passive aggression happens all the fucking time, man. You know? So, I think that's important. Now, the other thing is, uh, you know, communication is more complicated than just the words we use and in, in the context in which we're, we use them in. Um, you know, if you wolf whistle at a woman, there's loads of different ways that that might be perceived threatening. Okay? Let me give you an example. Beautiful woman walks by, man goes, <whistles> right? Relatively harmless, or one might hope, right? But a uh, woman walks by, man went, whistles like this. <whistles> now, I don't know about you, but I think the second whistle sounds slightly more menacing than the first one. Also, beautiful woman walks by. Guy wolf whistles in front of a group of other guys who are all his uh, peers. There's definitely a context issue there that wouldn't exist if it was just the man and the woman and no other witnesses. Likewise, if the woman is in a group of other women and this only the, the guy is the only only male present and he whistles, there's going to be a different perception as to what the whistle meant, uh, whether it was long and drawn out or short. So. Like I tried to say to you in your very first video about Rebecca Watson, these issues are way more complicated than you seem to want them to be. I grant you that uh, you know the world would be a much better place if people were more open about their sexuality and less sort of hung up, as it were. But there's nothing hung up about wanting or prudish about wanting your innate dignity as a human being respected. Okay. Treating other people with respect is not too much to ask. And I don't think you have to be a mind reader to know when something is inappropriate or likely to be perceived as inappropriate in the context in which you make a comment or gesture. Okay? It is not black and white. There is never a situation where it's okay to always it's always okay to say, you know, nice ass or whatever, but it's also completely dumb to suggest that it's it's never okay to say nice ass, okay? Just like when Dan Savage said that, uh, you know, offering someone your phone number is sexual harassment. Well, that's ridiculous because there's nothing sexual about the actual phone number. There may be flirtation implied. There may not be flirtation implied. That is completely open to interpretation. Saying nice tits or nice ass, there's less room for maneuver there. Your intention is pretty clear. Even if you think it's positive, the intention can be perceived quite easily, and I think quite rightly, as slightly aggressive. Maybe not to the point of being menacing, but annoying for sure. All right, so that's my two cents. I'd really be interested in what you've got to say about this, so please feel free to leave lengthy comments or a video response would be fine. And uh, uh, um, thanks for watching. Until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.